Hi friends, my name is Michal, but you can call me Mickey, and I am a professional vocal coach. You can read my bio on my channel, so I won't go into great detail right now. I'll just say that I am an Emmy-winning recording artist, I have eight CDs, I'm a classically trained pianist and a self-taught guitarist, and I believe that anyone can sing. There are a ton of music instructors on YouTube, and finding the one that you click with is kind of like going on a bunch of blind dates. I encourage you to play the field. But that being said, if you do like me, I'll be posting a new video every Monday on singing and all things music related, and the content is totally free. So please subscribe and check back often. So let's get started. This is part one on semi-occluded vocal warm-up exercises. What does that mean? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> this is like a one-way conversation with myself. So all it means is when you slightly cover your mouth as you're singing. So that's what occluded means. It means covered. And when you do this, it forces some of the air back down your throat and creates a very gentle back pressure. And that allows your vocal cords to vibrate and close in a healthy way. These exercises are very gentle and very effective. So if your voice is a little bit raspy from allergies or if you're sick and under the weather, or if you've just been talking or yelling more than you should be, these are a great way to ease yourself back into practice. It's also a wonderful exercise to do if you have five minutes and you really want to get an effective warm up quickly. So I love to do these warm ups before shows, for example. Let's start with the lip trill. So the first thing I want you to do is to sit up nice and straight with good posture. So imagine that you have a thread extending from the crown of your head that's pulling you upwards. Next, I want you to take your hand and place it on your low belly below your belly button, right about here. And what I want you to do is I want you to breathe in deeply and inflate your belly into your hand. Just like that. So you're not forcing your belly out. I can do that muscularly without breathing, but you're just allowing your belly to be loose enough that it can expand into your hand as you breathe. Just like that. Now you're gonna exhale and keeping your face very relaxed, you're gonna allow your lips to flap just like this. If you're having trouble with this, remember that the key is to relax, so no smiling. You can imagine that you've just come from the dentist and they've shot you up with Novocaine and everything is really numb. Now, if thinking about the dentist doesn't relax you, you can also imagine that you're very tired. So let's try that again. Take a nice deep breath and allow your lips to flap on the exhale. Very nice job. Now you're going to be using a P, P, or a B, B sound, or if you're a Spanish speaker, you can roll your R's and then bring the sound forward until it flaps your lips like so. Any of those work. If you're still having trouble, you can take your two fingers on either of your hands and lift your cheeks up a little bit just to take the weight of your cheeks off of your lips like so. Some people find that helpful. Now that you've mastered the basic technique, you can add in some tone. So let's start with middle C. Take a nice deep breath. And try to extend that lip trill for as long as you can. Now let's try a one, two, one pattern. And. Great job. Now let's try a one, three, one. Now let's try a one, three, five, three, one. Very nice. Now let's do an arpeggio over an octave. Brrr. 
So good. And finally, let's do a one and a half octave scale. down so you can get your lower register. job. So this concludes part one of semi-occluded vocal warm-up exercises. Please join me back here next week for part two and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much and see you next week.